Well, this is coming across as a big win for our security forces. Three terrorists who have been neutralized in an encounter with the security forces in Jammu's Doda district. The multi-agency operation called uh, Operation Lagor was uh, launched in an area that has seen a spike in terror activities and counter offenses over the last two years. Uh, Pradeep has been filing this report. Let's take a look. Big success for joint operation group of police and army. Three Pakistani terrorists have been eliminated in Gando area here in Doda district. It was one of the cleanest operation. And let me show you the kind of the rifles and arms and ammunition that has been recovered from their position. This is M4 carbine rifle. It is considered to be gas operated, one of the most sophisticated rifles. That means up to 400 meters. They can target a person with precision. See, these are not the chocolates that they are sending from across the border. They're coming with the weapons of destruction. Right now, M4 carbine rifle is considered to be hot favorite of the terrorists. Be it the Riyasi attack, be it the Punch encounter, be it Hiranagar attack, everywhere you'll find that they are carrying with them M4 rifle. Now the question arises, how come they are getting those US-made carbine rifles? Because these rifles were manufactured in 1980. Because when Taliban took over Afghanistan... Well, Pradeep is joining us live as well. Pradeep, good morning. As far as the sudden spurt in terror attacks were reported in the last few weeks, we knew for sure that there would be a counter coming in from our security forces. Yes, you're absolutely right. In fact, just a few days back, Amit Shah, Home Minister, had a meeting. And during that meeting, they discussed that how we have to flush out terrorists. Already the message was sent to the commanders on the ground. And finally, we saw that action is being taken on the ground. The counter-terror operations are continuing. And yesterday, Joint Operation Group of Army as well as Police, they were able to kill all the three Pakistani terrorists. And from them, large quantities of arms and ammunition, which includes two M4 carbine rifle, AK-47 pistol, six grenades, and other Pakistani-made uh, material was recovered from them. Pakistan stands completely exposed because often they keep on denying that we are not sending terrorists to this side of the border. We saw that all the material what they were carrying, whether it was injection, whether it was uh, the drugs or anything, that was made in Pakistan, Gujarwala, Karachi or Lahore. And this was one of the cleanest operations because uh, it uh, it was a very significant and a big success for security forces. Just 48 hours before the onstart of Amanath pilgrimage, these three terrorists were killed in the Sinu top area. They are the same terrorists who were responsible for targeting special operation group uh, column uh, few, on June 12 uh, to, uh, when uh, the uh, column was moving from one place to another place. One SOG personnel was injured in that attack and since then we have seen that uh, operation was being conducted. Yesterday morning when they got information about presence of terrorists in that area, area right. was properly cordoned. While the cordon was being laid, that was the time when the terrorists opened fire on SOG party as well as army. But uh, they took position, they retaliated. In ensuing gun battle, all the three Pakistani terrorists have been uh, killed. And right now what we have been told by the ADG uh, Jammu zone is that still there are three to four uh, group of terrorists are said to be roaming around in the area. All right, Pakistan but their time is already up. We know that the security forces will hunt them down and they will be soon brutalized. Hoping to hear that update from your end. Uh, Pradeep, thank you very much for joining in.